everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the TB and J podcast. With me today is Trent Brittingham. Your anti countdown today. Bam, bam, You're Jeff. Bam. Yeah, we're just gonna go. We're just gonna go. You catch him off guard. D's here too. How you doing, buddy? I'm back, guys. I don't know if you noticed, but something new is coming out soon. It's 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 been thrusted upon us. We're here to talk about it today, and that is the trailer for my big fat Greek wedding three. Let's get into it. That is a real thing that I saw this morning on my way to work. But for everybody else, remember, don't turn it off. This is actually the Ahsoka Vajay. Oh, no. They, you they, didn't they, click on the wrong one. Yeah, they, they saw the title. It said Ahsoka Tano. Yeah. It actually just says Ahsoka. You know, the show's just Ahsoka. I love doing visual I'm bits on an audio. people format. are dumb, not you, good listener. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The people in general, the people that voted for our 45th president are dumb. Uh, Twice. Twice. All right, guys. Ahsoka, episodes one and two, they launched together. Thumbs up, thumbs down. How are we feeling, Troy? Thumbs up. Thumbs up. D, how are we feeling? Uh, shove them up your butt. They're thumbs up. They are thumbs up. Oh, my fucking God. Ahsoka is a really good show. I didn't want Man. to like it. I know you didn't want to like it either, in. Mr. D. And there's... They've things. got six episodes left to fuck with us. Yeah. They could make it real bad, real fast, if yeah, they wanted to. It's already eight episodes, which makes it... Better, I guess. <laughs> then, like that should have been one episode, one Sorry. and two. That, yeah, and and faster. Uh, yeah, pacing feels really slow, which makes me curious if it's gonna pay off or it's gonna end up with like a rushed last couple episodes. Oh man, there's there's I I, I it, it's a thumbs up because it's good. And, and we and we just saw the, that lightsaber battle. That, that saw yeah. That stuff. I mean, even though he's which a, one are you talking about? There was so many. Black Knight, a literal black knight. Of, yeah. Uh, I don't know. His name is like Moore, Moore Karth or something like that. I forget what his Whatever. name is. Whatever. I so- know what his real name is. Which is? Yeah. It's Ezra, right? No. Oh. It's a hundred percent Ezra, right? No, 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 no. That guy's Ezra. No, 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 no. How, no is no, he not Ezra? Do, no, know, do we know who he is? It's like. I, don't I know. mean, it, do you know who he is in the mask already? No. Oh, so it's Ezra. I mean, you think Ezra has to come to the dark side? No, nah, it's not. Well, Are you so, in denial? So, fan? so Ezra, Ezra. <laughs> Ezra, Ezra shot across the the galaxy, the same place that Thrawn was. Wasn't he like, yeah, and now he's disappeared, and he's like a former Jedi kind of in training that's like tat- left with the Dark Lord. No, no, or so. No, no. That's I don't fucking Ezra. <laughs> Here's the thing, Troy. As much as I want to believe it's not Ezra, I think D's theory has a little bit of water because or holds it's a little Ezra. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe are we not saying this is a so, thing? So well, I would have. They don't. They don't. In, in shows and TV, they don't have a helmeted character unless we would recognize. Sure. Them. No. I have. I have my. I own. mean, is this Star Wars? They do that all the time. Yeah. <laughs> I mean. Yeah. I guess that's a very valid point. But like, I'm gonna take you to Pedro Pascal. The fact that we didn't hear his voice and we didn't see his face, despite the big lightsaber battle, so so he stood toe to toe with Ahsoka. He's very clearly trained. I think he's he. I think is is a she, and I think it's either Barris or Ventress, who are big Ahsoka important characters who do not have like. Canon Those are good theories as well the, in the universe. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, I I, I don't yeah, want it Ezra. to be Ezra. It would be nice if they go to the banished other galaxy and they find Thrawn and Ezra and they bring them home. Mm-hmm. But like, I feel like there isn't a whole lot of uh, endings to nah. the Thrawn Ezra like saga they, where they, no. they're they both go alive. On, they go in time, Bendy. Right? Are they? They're gonna go through time. I mean, when uh, different. Galaxies, time moves different depending on gravity because time is relative to gravity. And, so it's and hence Ezra. the space whales, right? Go watch Interstellar if you want a fucking lesson on how time and You'll gravity You'll learn about work. the space whales there. <laughs> the Porgles. The por- uh But no, I, 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 it's got to be somebody mm-hmm. we would know. Yes. So I'm, I'm much more willing to believe your theory that no, it's to, a Ventress or a to, to We don't know. We, being the audience of Ahsoka, has no idea who you're talking about. So... Only theory that stands, Ezra is Ezra, and that makes know. way more sense. Anyway, it would be. I I am not against that theory. To be clear, I'm not like fighting against it and being like he looks dope, and but he's like just literally like you you call it during the wa- this watch. And, like he is dressed like a, I mean straight up a knight, like a well Britain like a knight, knight, like a brigand. What is it? A brigadier knight. A he's brigadier got the helmet, knight, but the like pads. but like just the helmet with like sleek down with like a. 
you know, you know, just the chainmail like like leggings, Plain. and it's like yeah, and, and with with Star Wars armor. Yeah, it, like, it, it, it's this weird melding of like medieval, but it very British much armor. It looks like you know, it it looks dope as fuck, and it's mm. all murdered out. <laughs> yeah, it's so black. And, it and what great. I really liked in this whole episode, in general, be, so is the the obviously. I mean, we all, all we've talked it. about this. The 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 sword, laser swords are fun. Yes, laser, laser swords are fun. I love seeing la- them. It's laser sword. This laser sword, yay! This when, laser sword, yay! When the bad guys um, showed up and started killing the good guys with laser swords, it was exciting. It was you know, oh no, but it was exciting. Laser swords for Star Wars geeks are like guns for southerners. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's just like I want people to do more things with the laser swords. Like can you like turn off and on the lights with your laser sword? Like can you <laughs> can I like type with my laser sword? Like what what can I do with my laser sword? And ironically the Fallen Order things. the Fallen Order games there's a whole button where you pull it up and use it as a flashlight and I was like, "Yeah, there you go." Yeah. Yeah. You gotta do it. Yeah. You got to do, do, do it. Anyway, it's super it's so cool. I, it I, I really liked the um usage of the droids in laser sword fights. Oh, the, um, the KR assassin droids? So what did the the one that was with not Ezra, um Sir Sir Ezra. The Inquisitor. Uh, HK. HK. He's a what? A- so, HK is the is the, the droids. droids, yeah. Like the Domi R2 units are called. What R2. was it using as a weapon? Um, it looked like the electro staff that Palpatine's similar, guards yeah. had, or something similar. Okay, so so it basically sends so I just, like sends that out, and then like also is it then do they use the force? No, they just have weapons that can block lightsabers. They're really nimble and quick, but the droids themselves do not have the force. No, I meant the um. The Inquisitor? The droids the Sorry. Force. The Inquisitors do, yes. The Inquisitor, yeah, because he had the They're lightsaber. They're robots. The Inquisitor had the lightsaber throw at They're the end and pulled it back. They're beneath us. Thank you. They Indeed. want to serve. <laughs> that's, that's, in the, that's in the text, right? Bite my shiny metal ass. Isn't that literally in the no, text I've, of I've, Mandalorian th- season three? Am I wrong here? This is oh, the oh no, they, no, 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 no. You're right. You're right. You're right. I forgot about that. I, th- I forgot you were making a point and not just making oh, a no, dumb no, joke. You're maybe right. I, I I vaguely remember that now. Yeah, literally, the, literally the robot bar. Remember it? Mm-hmm. I didn't. This is Flo- this is your guy. This is Filoni. <laughs> I think. I don't know. No, this is this is actually the most Filoni show that has ever Filonied in the history <laughs> of Filoni. Uh, uh, it is a very very Filoni show. He littered it with all of his characters. It is yeah. Rebel season five. Um, what do you love most about it? So, or what do you want to say? I so, uh, I was gonna say that that Rebels is is a pretty important show to me. It might be some of my favorite Star Wars content in general, um, and I think that they nailed the characters pretty close. I I like Mary Elizabeth Winstead's uh, Hera. I like uh, Sabine. Mm. I think that they don't you're, you like. I don't dislike anybody, uh, but they're obviously going to miss some some sort of bounciness of them being animated characters to now being live action, and I'm adjusting to that still a little bit. Like, yeah, they're not as like, fluid. Like their and... boobs don't bounce as much? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, mm, that's... I get that. Right, right. I would be upset. Yeah, that's what I focus on primarily. Yeah. Um, I knew what you meant. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. Um, There's a bounciness in what? What do you mean? Ju- no, just the fact that they're animated characters and they can be a little bit more like goofy and emotive. And live action, this is a little bit more, they're playing a little bit more serious because it's not like a kids animated show anymore. Right, right, um, right. Except for that kids animated sure. wall mural. Yeah, that they yeah, 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 yeah. The mural that I is. I know people the... are guffawing at even that. So I think I... we found the dividing line on the new Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean. They're like, oh, that's, they did that. I don't, I don't mind it, but like. No, I, 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 I enjoyed I mean, it. There's not. I can see some Gen Xers being like, God. Oh, I've God. seen that on Reddit where they're like, "Oh, come on! You really gotta bring the cartoon into this." And it's like, "Yeah, because these are the characters that made in the cartoon." And and what are you talking and about? And there is there is concern that people bring up with all of these Star Wars shows that of like uh, we've talked about it a thousand times of like of like oh, and you're gonna do a spinoff into a spinoff into a spinoff, and then like and then people watch Andor and they're like, "But do that, Andor is good." Um, and this is like the one time where I'm like, "Well, no." 
Rebels ends on a cliffhanger, we need to do the cliffhanger at some point. <laughs> like, yeah, at some point we need to wrap this up. We got, but, go but I do understand. But I do understand. So is Rebels currently canon. Yes. Okay. Yeah, and this is like I said, exactly. Yeah, Rebels I mean, it's like whatever. Yeah. Um, I mean, and- that's like that's like yeah. that seems to be like everything we they're doing is canon. They're all working with it. This is Filoni's. This is he's gonna be like the longest yeah. running one on. Uh, yeah, Ahsoka is specifically like what? Dave Filoni's, basically like his favorite character. Um, uh, all of the Rebels cast are like specifically like a show that he curated himself, and then just kind of like made it. And it very much understands the assignment for Star Wars. Like it's, yeah. it feels very, very so, Star Wars. So, what scene were you most giddy about? I like the Phantom ju- uh, going after the chopper. Who? The Phantom is the ship. The the it, this ship actually is a small pod that goes on the back of a bigger ship called the Ghost. Uh, 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 and it's the Phantom, the Ghost, and they're all that. Spectres. Um, cool. Ooh, spooky. I guess. Yep. Um, but okay. But I but I really like Harry. They, did, going they out. didn't do a good job of explaining that on the screen. Well, well, uh, well. That's actually that's actually the thing I was wondering about. I have seen all of Rebels like three times now. Mm-hmm. It, watching Rebels and then this, this show's great. If you don't watch Rebels, like, how do you guys feel not knowing like? Hera and Chopper and Sabine and oh, uh, that's a great question actually. Uh, I I really enjoyed the show. I knew the characters existed. I didn't sure. know their stories. I didn't know anything about them. But like seeing it all happen, it felt normal. It felt natural. It didn't feel like I was missing anything important. Most of the big beats, like Sabine Wren being Ahsoka's former apprentice, they kind of got spelled out for me. Um, well, and- that's actually not even in the show. That's supposed to be after season four. This is what happened, basically. So it was oh. literally spelled out. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So we called telling. It was showing. It was spelled yeah. out for me too. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that, that, but I didn't feel like it was particularly badly done or anything. And like, like you said, with the the ghost and the phantom and all that, mm-hmm. I saw the phantom and I was like, oh. It's a little ship with Chopper. Chopper's a great so, looking droid. That's awesome. And if Phantom goes on to Ghost at some point later, I'll be like, "Oh, that's super cool." But like in the the show in the in the yeah, confines, I didn't notice that. No, in did the they con- share that on the screen. They do they not did. share that. No. But in the confines of the episode, they just had the general hopping in her little ship. So how do you know like, about it? Because I watched from, all of all of Rebels, and it right, happens that in, ship's he's in talking Rebels. about it. Oh yeah. Yes. Well, I'm saying, like, I just saw the little ship because I was like, oh, the general was just on a recon mission. She just has a little ship. She didn't plan on bringing a massive fucking Star Destroyer with her. So, I mean, next time if we see Phantom and Ghost when they start packing heavier firepower, it feels like it'll make sense. I, I don't feel like anything's, like, a big stretch or completely out of the, the realm of possibility here. Uh, it all just seemed to happen naturally. It wasn't like, oh, for you, it was like, oh, there's the thing from the episode, mm-hmm. and that's great. But for me, I was like, oh, that's a neat thing. No, that's the, great. All Both of these episodes back-to-back was essentially just me doing the Leonardo DiCaprio meme of just pointing at it yep. and never, I just never put my hand down. So, so this is my thing, is like, okay, uh, so are you not familiar with the show? Not at all. I, I know the know. characters, and I know like, the biggest plot points, but not like the medium to small ones, and I've never seen a full episode. Okay. Um, okay. So I looked at the show like, okay, I, I got all of the character relationships and the archetypal relation, basically the archetypal relationships. Like, because every character is archetypal. Like, yes. Ca- like, so it, it, it wasn't that. Even Ezra in, in the, in the, Whole one hog like they clearly have a history. I think people could probably. I I don't even know their backstory, but I didn't get the impression that they were like lovers. I got the impression that they were like just friends and like yeah, and like and like, like or maybe in like some YA like kind of way. I don't I don't, but like I don't just whatever. It was not. Um, it didn't seem. It, 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 it all made sense to me. Like okay, so they have some backstory. Yeah. Yada yada. But um, in terms of like e- everything else, yeah, it was all very much like okay, we got the Padawan, we got the trainer, we got the rival ones, yeah, we got the good guys, bad guys, very g- standard setup. Looked cool, okay. Uh, R- uh, Ray Winston, Winston yeah, uh, Stevenson, Ray Stevenson, Stevenson, yeah. 
he looked awesome in this. I, th- I kept I kept saying the things with this. I thought it was George Clooney. <laughs> oh, you know what? He does have kind of a J- Clooney haircut. A little so, bit, a little bit. I, and I would totally see that. Rest in peace, Ray. Yeah. So I'm gonna be. It, does he? Do, is this just these episodes? So uh, I. Well, how much is he in? You mean? Uh, yeah. Did he? Did that. He make that I do n- filming. I think he finished it, but I don't know that for sure. Crazy. I mean, fucking Carrie Fisher didn't finish eight. They mm. still put her in it and nine. They would put him in if they needed to. Oh, like, lucky us. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> just Wait, what? I didn't hear you. Oh, lucky us. Oh, lucky us? Oh, God, no. We get you forever, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> Disney has the rights to your likeness in perpetuity, you stupid bit. No, no but but we were talking we were talking Standard about- perpetuity clause, clause, clause. We were talking about uh, uh, my favorite stuff in it, though. Um, the villains are, like, the scenes with the villains are all good so far. Um and other than the Inquisitor, who definitely will be somebody, um, all of them are pretty much new characters. We have the the magistrate woman from season two of Mando, but she's only ever in that too. Uh, and now she's revealed to be a witch of Dathomir, mm-hmm. which is fucking dope. Which, which also kind of fix that that Who's fight the witch scene. Of Dathomir? So Dathomir, oh, the young lady who's got who's yeah, got, yeah. Okay. Dathomir oh, was okay. a planet of force sensitive women, and they were the witches of Dathomir. Yeah, they got green, yeah. green, spacey magic. Yep. Oh, okay. So they do have green, spacey magic. <laughs> yep. So then that to that chick is in Ewoks too. No battle of Endor. It is no. That is that is the. That's just some random witch woman who has nothing to do with anything. Uh, she has green magic. She, I mean, maybe, maybe they, maybe they, Fuck they you. took it. I, How dare listen, you? I How know, dare you? No, work I, that into your canon, bitch. They haven't. <coughs> yeah, they haven't said. I'm a bully. <laughs> yeah, specifically only for Ewok adventures. Yes, D, D brought real Big Brother energy into this podcast. Yeah, now. but only for <laughs> for uh, Ewok adventures, which I agree should should. Is that you know, canon? No, good. Very much not. What? They, since when? Since <laughs> since <laughs> almost since the when? since almost the day it came out. <laughs> no, dude, I live that. That's canon. Mace, listen, listen. Is, Canon is is a is a fictional like made up thing that that you can make whatever you want of it. That's not that's not my can. It's uh, not my can. Disney specified uh, in April 2014 when they had acquired the rights that not, only the six episodic films, Clone Wars TV series, and anything going forward were canon. Which Everything means else also is the legends. holiday special doesn't make it. Aw, oh, B. Arthur's not a Star Wars character B. anymore. B. Arthur does not make it in Star Wars. And Wait she can't t- be it in now, so. Oh, yeah, she's dead. This is how the Bible I gets mean, written. What's that? <laughs> this is how the Bible gets written. <laughs> 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 what's canon Star and what's Star Wars is it? the Bible for a lot of people. Guys, bro. guys, we're keeping this part in. I would like you. I, I would like Jesus to, is cool, guys. Jesus is cool. First of all, I want to say when I googled, we, we have it, a big problem here, guys. I was googling <laughs> is Ewok Adventures canon, and the first autofills were is Ewok a Scrabble word, is Ewok a girl, and is Ewok trans. What? <laughs> Those are the first three autofills on Google. This is what? what? This is what is They're not even Ewok's proper English. Gosh darn it! I grew up on Ewok Adventure. Honestly, it was like my actual thing. Mm-hmm. I think I knew this about you. I don't think this is a surprise to me. It's sad. Yeah. If Chris were here, he would say, I've known you for a long time, and still you find new ways to disappoint me. Um, Jesus Christ. He would say that. Yeah, he would. I know Chris exactly very well. That. Wow, he's that predictable. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, I, 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 I really Christ. enjoy, as a guy who's never seen, back to, back on topic, as a guy who's never watched an episode of Rebels, I do really enjoy this show. I love the characters. I love that they're pre-existing. That doesn't matter to me whatsoever. Um, casting feels spot on. Ramona Flowers doing Hera so mm-hmm. is great. The the Natasha something woman who's doing Sabine Wren Romanoff. fell in love with her as soon as I saw her on screen. Exactly my type. And I was like, yes, don't care who you are. You're my favorite character. And then Troy walked in uh, and was like, oh, it's my favorite character, Sabine Wren. So, tell us what kind of porn you watch without telling us what kind of porn you watch. <laughs> I, I mean, no, no. She had the dark saber. She's got a cool jetpack. It's different. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. Blows yeah. Stuff a whole up. separate. She's also, she's also, yeah, she is a Mandalorian, yeah. She, she is. She, no, I know, I'm saying there's, I meant fetish. Oh, okay. oh Jesus Christ. You like when they wear a helmet, huh? Wait till I show you Nova. <clears throat> I don't love Nova. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, I love Sabine Wren. I, I'm loving Ahsoka. She's coming off really cold, and that's not quite how I remember her from what little I she's did She's more equipped. Uh, yeah. 
She was more like Spider Man y when I watched her in like the the, the old stuff. Yeah, she's listen, quippy. She quips. Listen, listen. Mrs. Senator cannot Mrs. Senator? Yeah, you know she's married to the Senator. Se- uh oh uh, to Clancy Brown? Or no. no, the other senator guy that was the, there. The real life senator. Oh, she's, wait. He's talking about life. Rosario Corey Dawson. <laughs> Rosario Dawson. Oh, wait. And she's married to Cory Booker? Yeah. I didn't know that. Dummy. Yeah, that's me. Big old dummy boy. Uh, No, that's cool. Cory Booker is, right. a, is a good guy. Yeah. yeah. I think. Uh, <laughs> he's a, I mean, he's a politician. He's but very... Yeah. Uh, I am for the ticket. <laughs> Yeah, I'll fall in line. What is what is this impression? Is that your Cory Booker impression? Yeah, it's workshop. Um, Troy. Anyhow, yeah, she, I don't know. She's gotten a little bit. Uh, uh she's, she's sl- it's slow to move on. This okay. I have a couple complaints, and I wanted to throw them out. Please Let's do again. Okay. So it was slow going. It wasn't slow enough to be like not interesting, but it was and and very. Good actors all throughout. Very good aesthetics. It, this is some of the better aesthetics in the villain scenes. All the villain scenes are the aesthetics are great. The general and uh, Bach. What was his name? Chip Chop Chopper. 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 The, the droid. Chippy Chop. Um, and, and Chop, Chop. They seem very. Br- she, she's too bright. She's too bright green. Yeah. And it it's got real uh, moped vibes. It's got real Boba Fett moped vibes. Interesting. For but chopper. like it's just that whole color palette of like shiny, l- like loud kind of colors or clashing colors. And S- Sabine does that, but well in a kind of graffiti style. Yes, much more patterned, uh, like much more artistic. I think, and she's an artist. I mm. she's literally a graffiti artist in the show, right? Yeah. So it's really neat that that has its own thing to it. But the like, I don't know. The rest of it seems kind of it doesn't fit with the Star Wars aesthetic. Star Wars is a little bit grainier, and I know that like the Rebels shows and those shows are a little more oriented to kids, and they got it, they brighten it up. Yeah, and I feel like. You kind of have to like, like. I don't want it to eek in that direction. Mm-hmm. Um, I want it to feel like Star Wars. Um, and I don't mind them like amping up these characters to more adult levels. Like the audience is adults at this stage because like there's kids watch. How, how old is Rebels? Rebels Rebel- debuted in 2014, so it'll be 10 years old. It'll next be 10 year. years old. So there's like if you watch that at 12, if you watch that at, or if you, I guess you'd maybe be watching it at eight. You're 18 years old, like, yeah, you want to, like, oh, cool, yeah, say it's cool, like, <laughs> yeah, you know, that's that, that works. I, I understand. And most, the... and most of it's not, like, most of the people like y'all, <laughs> who, who just, like, still like Star Wars and know th- that stuff is good. So. And we're, the, we're the tail end of the millennials, yeah. Troy, we're, I, we're approaching 30. I think the the brighter color palette might just be kind of a felony Star Wars thing, and that's just yeah. sort of how I feel about it. Uh, because this is was sort of Clone the fir- Wars really bright? Yeah, it w- it was it was pretty similar to this, I think. Yeah. Um, and and Filoni has worked on the live action stuff, but most of the live action stuff has been more under Favreau. Right. Uh, this is the this is the start of him kind of being given his own thing, and working on his own thing, like with all of his characters, which is why there's cameos from other characters, but th- this is. This is what a Filoni show feels like, kind of. Yeah. So this, yeah, uh, what it where it felt more grown up was in the villain scenes. Yes, they seemed without like. First of all, having uh, what is her name? Who is the witch of Darth Vader? Morgan. More oh, like like Le Fay. Okay. Yep. Uh, Mo- Morg is she a known character? No. She, the she, only time she shows up is when uh, she's the lady who um, Ahsoka fights. She has the best guard spear in Mando. Yeah. Oh, she got the best guard spear. Okay, so that was her. Um, she is the same actress. Yep. Yeah, same okay. actress, same character. She's good. Uh, she has a lot of presence in in, a, in an interesting way without being very flashy. Um, because I mean, she's very kind of just toned down 
her, her whole look. I, I think I don't know. I have to look back. I mean, turn up for Star Wars. I assume. Right. Right. Um, you know, they didn't they didn't dye her hair pink or anything. Like, <laughs> and she doesn't have tentacles for hair. Mm-hmm. Like, and, like, and, like a lot of things. Wait, really? She does not. What? I mean, I think she has all tentacle genitalia. Like, oh, okay. It's just like I'm back in. Like yeah, hundreds of tentacles. A- anywhere that you didn't see skin, that's all tentacles. Yes, yeah, it's all tentacles. I'm back tentacles. in. Thank all you. the way down. Uh, very long. Thank you. Um, anyway, so yeah, th- that that um, God damn it. <laughs> uh, so the um, she she's interesting, and I like that the uh, the the apprentice and, and she's. They're they're really like uh, neat looking. I'm mean, intrigued. What? So tell me about the yellow blades. The so, yellow blades. Like why are their blades yellow? And then wh- what? What else are we seeing here? We're we so, gonna get so like fading of the colors because of like n- being a nerd. So they like, spe- they specifically have orange. Um, and Dave Filoni has pointed out like it's not red, it's orange. Uh, it looks very red in certain scenes, but it's it it's definitely orange. Uh, and. His his whole thing is he said that this specifically is him signaling these are not Sith. orange, not even yellow. They're not yellow, yeah. They're 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 a very very red orange actually. Like it, it's it you you need to kind of like I thought they were kind of red when I first saw them, and then I kind of remembered that they were orange from like past conversations for them. But he's specifically trying to signal that they're not Jedi, or mm-hmm. they're not they're not Sith. I mean. Um, and I think that they are just kind of go- going to go with the angle that they are Jedi and like there's no real Jedi order. I told you I wanted an orange lightsaber. Mm-hmm. So well, now you got it. God damn it. Um, well, now you got to be the, the evil Jedi guy. Um, <laughs> but the but the the thing that they're setting what up. What if I was uh, a foot taller? The thing they're setting up Braylon to be is um, Ahsoka leaves the Jedi order, says she's no Jedi, uh, when she's fighting, she has white sabers. She 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 completely cleanses an Inquisitor's ta- sabers and turns them white. Um, and uh, in a in a very important scene where she's fighting Darth Vader and rebels, she says uh, uh, she says I am no Jedi. It's a very big scene. Um, Braylon says I am no Jedi when he shows up in almost the exact same way, but evil. Um, so they're supposed to kind of be foils of each other. I think I, I get it. They're both. Yep. It's it's it's, and it's the, Star and the Wars. Apprentices stuff. Yeah. fought earlier in the scene. The mm-hmm. good apprentice lost. Yep. I wonder if they'll win in the future. You're fig- you're figuring out Star Wars writing pretty quickly. I wow. Don't, I don't know how you uh, did that. Although, okay, so uh, crazy girl looks looks crazy. Mm-hmm. Classic crazy girl. Totally get it. The apprentice. She, yeah. She. Uh, a lot of um, callbacks to Darth Maul in, um, in Phantom Menace. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. A lot of callbacks to that. Their, their uh, names are also uh, Scroll, uh, Braylon Scroll and something Hottie. Balin Skull and Shin Hati. So Wh- man, which, fo- which are, uh, the two last names are based off of uh, Norse uh, wolves who uh, who chased the yeah, sun. Yeah, he loves wolves, huh? Yeah, he de- no, actually, he genuinely does. <laughs> It, I mean, wolves Dave, are cool. Dave okay. Filoni's got a big wolf fetish, um, but uh, these are specifically Norse wolves that chase the sun, and these are Jesus they're, Christ. They're chasing uh, uh, Sabine and Hera, who are Sabine and Ahsoka. Who so, are, in the Star Wars universe, there's just plain old wolves. Um, so, <laughs> in Rebels, there are sentient talking Force wolves. Uh, in season four, excuse me, and Kanan uh. Jarrus dies and is reincarnated as one. So there's a yeah, lot of wolves. Yeah, what if this whole thing is just Dave Filoni's fetish to like show that Game of Thrones could have done realistic wolves this entire time? <laughs> Might what be. if it's like, no, I bet it's hard. I'm sure it's super hard. Hair. This is really hard. Yeah, but he, he loves wolves to the point where his cameo character is called like Trekker Wolf or something. Mm. Well, let's hope it doesn't go in that direction uh, because that would be weird. Um, so yeah, uh, I think the uh, bad guy scenes look a lot like um, the second uh, uh, sequel movie. Like they have a nice last Jedi. Yeah. Last Jedi. Yeah, that has like a good, like kind of pretty aesthetic going. Like doing neat things with the universe and world building. Uh, and uh, I guess Rogue One. Rogue One had a yeah. Neat, it like, has almost movie. the exact hallway scene. Yeah. 
that they have they have a really good those are what I would say they're like the best directed like best like visually shot. Also, uh, Kevin things. Kiner does the music for this one, uh, and he does the Clone Wars and Rebels ones, and his the, the specifically the the piano theme he's playing when Braylon's walking down the hallway. I love that. So yeah, the music in this uh, show is really really. Fun. By the way, is this a okay? <laughs> All right, let me look at this. Um, the so Filoni has he contributed now a dark saber, white purged lightsabers, and orange sabers. Yep, I believe so. Yeah, so he has added three colors of the spectrum. I think he's. Yep. Al- I think he also technically added yellow. I think yellow was around, and then he kind of Will- made a canon. Will we see... Yellow was canon in 9? A Green Lantern core. No, it's in Clone Wars 2. Will we see a Green Lantern core of Jedi? Of, of, <laughs> of Just a rainbow. All the different colors unite. Will the gay population... Rejoice? Oh my gosh. Well, I mean... Will it be... If, if Star Wars... Will it be the liberal agenda? I know some writers will be really, really mad about Full lightsaber yeah. circle. It'll be a saber circle. Yes, it will. Great, great, great contribution. <laughs> uh, no, I, I, I love having more colors in Star Wars for lightsabers all the time because there's what color to... are we lacking? Um, well, we got uh, indigo. Uh, indigo? Have we seen Is an that indigo? A real color? Kind of. Is that a different yeah. color now? No, yeah, indigo's it's... a real one. Um, Is that a real color. Indigo, but Pink. indigo's kind of just like blue purple. Yeah, but I fucking orange is just Blurple. a mix of red and yellow. Like, yeah. you want to get technical like that? Yeah, but I feel like indigo kind of is just the other one. Do you think uh, uh, Balin, more of a shade? You think Balin's lightsaber being orange is somehow related to the mix between yellow and red? Like he was like a yellow old timey grandmaster, and then he went a little dark side. Now it's orange. Well, yeah, that's what they're going for. Is that he, he fucked up his lightsaber and so Ahsoka fixed I, the lightsaber? I feel like they, they 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 messed up when they went he, like half. They blooded. went they went like there's blue and green, and then just red on the other side. Like there's there's no balance there. The force is supposed to be all be about balance, and like mm-hmm. where's the where's the like is, is it orange? Oh, the the balance thing is one of my is is what my, one of my biggest. There? Well, it should be orange. Oh, are, is that what he's trying to do? Is it orange green? Well, I guess. So but yellow is still good. The reason yellow's still good. Ray has a yellow one now. Yeah, Ray, a bunch yellow. Of, a bunch of other people had oh. yellow ones in Clone Wars. Yellow's always been good, but here's the thing, D. So, um, Jeez Louise. this is explained in like deep Star Wars lore, but uh, it's never in a movie. But when a when the Jedi goes to the dark side, they take their kyber crystal and they bleed it by forcing all of their like hatred and pain into the crystal, mm-hmm. and that turns it red by bleeding the crystal. Okay. So that's why all the Sith have red ones because they bleed their kyber crystals. Okay, all right. Yeah, so the orange you see ones, it happen in the newest uh, Star Wars video game, Jedi Survivor. So, the, uh, so it's the, pretty fucking cool. The the orange lightsabers. I'm imagining they're probably just going to be like, we did it, but not all the way. Yeah, he was like, they, ah, they're, I the the Jedi. Of, they're the equivalent of like, like, yeah, we'll do a blood pack. Like, eh. yeah, yeah, the, the, <laughs> it's it's Balin going just the tip with the dark side. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> okay. And yeah, ones, that one. And the was other a step ones just go far. like. So the other ones hypothetically just go other colors like what they usually go green or blue but Those sometimes are common, yeah. very rarely apparently only once they go purple <laughs> sometimes they go yellow and usually the yellow ones if i understand this correctly are just like a bunch of like bitch ass ones besides maybe no, ray no the yellow ones are more like super in, in high clone, grand in clone wars a lot of the yellow guys are like we are people who stand in the temple and we guard it yeah, like nobody's. They're just like general. G- it's, uh, it's the like, Grand Inquisitor had a yellow one before he was evil. That's true. <sighs> he's uh, not a bitch ass. Uh, the, uh, he's an Inquisitor. It's they go back and forth on the colors, ass. like meaning. <laughs> sometimes in certain ca- uh, like old legend stuff, they'll say the colors mean something, and then other times they say that uh, Jedi Padawan just reaches out to the Kyber crystals with the Force, and the one that selects them is the color that they get. Like th- colors officially mean nothing except for white and red, because white is just purging your Kyber crystal or um, recovering it from being bled. You get white, or you bleed it to make red. 
other colors are just at random, basically. Yeah, you, you, you take a crystal back to a droid played by David Tennant, who is in the show, and he may help you make a lightsaber. Okay, yeah. but what colors could they are, like, just on the spectrum of colors, what else could they be? Uh, It's usually blue, f- blue, green, purple, yellow, and... There's I only so many other it. colors. Yeah, I, I know that in Jedi so red, Survivor, wait, you can have I think teal, roy, I think orange, you can have pink. yellow, roy, green... <laughs> You're going through the rainbow? B- B- yeah, Roy G. Biv. Uh, Blue, B- indigo, violet. Yeah. yeah, so violet? Yeah, I mean, that's what Mace Windu's was, wasn't it? No, his is more of a, like a darker purple. Uh, mm. But who, who really... He's you, probably violet. I mean, they're crystals. Crystals refract all sorts of light on the spectrum. In theory, you could have so, literally So like a color. deep blue. Yeah, like a deep blue There's different indigo. blues, yeah. That's what I'm saying, like a deep blue. Yeah. Luke Skywalker's like navy, in four like was blue. officially cyan. How long are we going into this? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking is this what people want to hear, man? Is they want to hear talk about what did you watch a show for? In I I watched it mostly for for laser su- swords. I watched laser it for swords. Su- the, we the rebels made that characters. We made that very clear at the top. Laser you swords. You made this very clear. <laughs> so Luke Skywalker's in New Hope was cyan, and then in Empire it was blue. It was a different color. I just think that this is ground that anybody who cares about Star Wars has tread before. Oh, yeah, for sure. No, lightsaber colors don't mean anything in the modern era no, because I get it. they don't fucking matter. I get it. Shh, sorry, anybody who was interested in this conversation. <laughs> no, it's fine. Um, I'm, I'm interested to see what happens next. Uh, there's something else on I mean, on for also. people that don't know, like the bleeding and then the purifying, those are actual things. That, that is cool. I mean, yeah. like that's the first I've heard of it. Yeah. It, 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 it the way was you a lot explained of cool, it made sense. There's a lot of cool stuff in Star Wars that is explicitly not in the movies. Yeah. And that that's why... Ugh, fuck. Almost know. decidedly not in the movies. I, I don't want to go deeper into the boring conversation, but that's like, why Kylo's like lightsaber the, is unstable. Like the witch from Battle of Endor. <laughs> she also turned into a raven. Can they do her that? Her name was... <laughs> no, no, the kid's name is Sindel. She turned What's her name? Sindel. I fucking love Sindel. I don't remember her name, but... S- oh. She turned into like a crow or something. Yeah. yeah, it's 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 a it's a it's a movie. You should watch it. But it is not, a movie. It's not really not really. But I mean, you should watch it though. But uh, uh, allegedly, just to wrap, put a fucking pin in this real quick. The reason Kylo's lightsaber was broken and fucked up in seven is because when he went to bleed his crystal, he was too conflicted, and it fucked up the crystal instead of bleeding it properly. Yeah, and he's any such Who? making lightsabers. Kylo Ren. Oh. The reason his lightsaber was all like weird and jaggedy and the blade was kind of unstable is because when he went to bleed his crystal, he was conflicted inside. And so it didn't bleed properly. And the hilt is bad because he's bad at making lightsabers. Uh, Yeah, I think it's, that's it's canon. It's just actual canon. Yeah, yeah, that's canon. It has a big wire on the outside of it that goes up to the top. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He's, he's a ex- big dummy. He's explicitly a big dummy. I kind of want to get his lightsaber hilt when I go to Disney World. It's love. great. That's it's a good one. That's one of the best one. SNL bits ever. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. um, uh, Matt the Radar Technician? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, that's great. All oh right. Um, um, really cover boss with, with him. They have six episodes left of Ahsoka. Are they going to fuck it up? Troy, what do you think? I don't All think so. Most definitely. No. I think I think you I think what what might happen is we're going to get maybe some more straggly kind of middle area episodes and then you're going to get a last hopefully f- like four that are that are really good. I mean, I'm hoping if all eight are good obviously. Obviously. Um, when does Filoni take over for things? Well, Wait, is he just Rebels? Dave no. Filoni did all animated stuff so far. Oh, okay, so all of Clone Wars. Yeah, all okay. of Clone Wars and all of Rebels so, and all of Resistance, so which is long, not a good show. So long as he goes the route of like Clone Clone Wars like level, like where the clones are talking about like having their own personalities, mm-hmm. like like the, they they go and deeper into that realm than the kid the, the rebels kind of kid realm. I think is the way that they have to go with this and uh really make things pop but I I I, I just I, I just need them to have some stakes no absolutely like, I just need them to have some kind of stakes in the, in, in the thing and I think that'll be neat um, well they're well they are bringing in Thrawn and Thrawn's gonna be played by the same person who played him in I the know show. I don't oh, I I really hope if they I don't. I just. I just don't need them to have like a good guy wins like kind of classic story like right. thing right now. I need them to kind of like do something. And that'd I be cool. I kind of. I kind of very much hope that they don't kill Thrawn. Also, I think. Oh, oh they can kill Thrawn. If they want. I. I would like them to kill someone like Ezra or like, or like, 
Sabine, mm-hmm. or somebody like who's just who's just like, oh, what did you do? Like, <laughs> you know, or or the, I don't understand. You have to kill somebody, but like, you know, I think anytime you have somebody out there, like they like that was the ending where he's like taken by space whales or something. Yep. And and that then you're just like, well, it's not finished. Like, <laughs> yeah, okay. So you have to just kill somebody. It has to mm-hmm. be done. So I, I hope they, uh, it goes a different way. I think. No, I, I think that this almost definitely will. Um, uh, Filoni loves his characters, but and, and despite popular belief, because Ahsoka's died twice and has come back to life, um, he does kill off characters. Uh, Kanan Jarrus and Rebels, spoilers for the show, does explode. Um, in front of everybody, and it's very sad. I, that. Um, I think that Dave Filoni at the helm of the show, I think that there's probably going to be a sad character death in there eventually. Um, the one thing I am kind of not concerned about, but uh, Hera doesn't go with them. So is it just going to be Sabine Ahsoka going through space? Are they going to meet up with Zeb eventually? He who, He's on a different planet with... A character I want to see. Uh, I mean, Agent Callus. They they certainly seem like they're teasing it with the painting of the whole group there a yeah. little, maybe. But like, there's no way Hera and Chopper don't go with. I right? mean, I want the full group reunion. Yeah. I mean, she's I a want, general. I want Captain Rex back. She's a general, so like, realistically, she shouldn't go. But also, she's a general, and there's no war and going it's, on. And it's so Star it. and it's Star Wars. So like, what are the rules anyway? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> The, the, she's a general because she wears a bomber jacket. That yeah. the, 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 everybody else. Well, she is. Of. She specifically is like Han's, like arguably better than Han Solo, good pilot. Mm-hmm. She's yeah. supposed to be like the best non force pilot. In How the many galaxy. parsecs does it take her to get? <laughs> <laughs> oh, less than twelve parsecs. Uh, Easy. Okay. All right, I have to call this one. Yeah, we're done. It's almost my bedtime. But Mm -hmm. I'm very excited for the rest of Ahsoka. I hope it doesn't suck. I'm very excited, and I am glad so far that it does. I was was dreading this show. If I didn't edit it out, I'm sorry for all the lightsaber bits. Look at the color spectrum. like a bronze.